What's cooking? Mrs. McDonald's weaked out. She's flipped. She thinks I can... <laughs> Holy moly! It's me! Oh, you look so much like father. <laughs> Martin, look at her. It's amazing. Why, they look exactly alike. Gee, I don't know if I can stand two of them. <laughs> We've been so worried about you. You couldn't figure out what happened to you. Oh, I've had quite a time of it. First, I couldn't find you at the airport. And then when I arrived here, a strange boy popped his head in and kissed me. <laughs> Is he yours? Well, he was. He's Sue Ellen's now. I'm so sorry. Kathy, we're so glad to have you here. Come and sit down there. You must be tired. Are you hungry? Yeah, we'll make you something to eat. No, thank you, Uncle Martin. Tomorrow, I think I'll take you downtown to the office and show you around. Oh, I'd like that. What work are you in? Well, I'm managing editor of the New York Daily Chronicle. I mean, what work are you in now? I'm the managing editor of the New York Daily Chronicle. I was up there. They were scraping your name off the door. Oh, don't be ridiculous. They wouldn't. New York Daily Chronicle. Hello. Uh, what's the name of your managing editor? Albert Marcus. Would you like to be connected? Do you have any idea what a weapon we have in our hands? What do you mean? Separately, we're two girls who have a few talents. Just like anyone else. Your brain, I like sports. You like opera, I like to dance. But together, we're really on the beam. On the beam? With it. We can be in two different places at the same time. Do you think we could really fool people, Patty? Let's find out. How? Any objections? Not in the least. I think I will descend below and inquire how Aunt Natalie and dear Uncle Martin are getting along. <laughs> Am I interrupting Aunt Natalie? Interrupting Aunt Natalie? Of course not, Kathy. We were just saying how wonderful your being here is going to be for Patty. As a matter of fact, she could use a steadying influence. Patty isn't as mature as you, dear. She's a bit flighty. She's a three-wheeled monster. <laughs> Perhaps my being here is going to be an, an imposition on everyone. An imposition? We've always wanted another daughter. You have? Yes. And now that we have you, our family's complete. Just don't let Patty rope you into any of her kooky schemes. <laughs> Is your room comfortable? Yes, very. Because if it isn't, why, we'll get Patty to change with you. Oh, no. I wouldn't think of it. Well, remember, this is your home now. Sometimes Patty can be a little selfish. A little selfish? So if there's anything of hers that you want, you just let us know. Actually, I just came down to tell you how, how wonderful everything is. Excuse me. I have a feeling they're going to get along just fine. What happened? It did it work. It worked. Now, if you're going to give your mature self out of my selfish way, I'd like to be alone. Patty, did I do something to hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> 